Welcome back to Ben's Garage. It's after Christmas. I hope you all got what you uh, wanted. Today we're doing a little bit of, uh, not maintenance, but just a bit of work on the fleet. The old TD6, it gets parked up and it doesn't get used. Because it's not getting the long runs, it's not keeping the battery topped up. And these Range Rovers have got so many electronics on them that if you don't keep your battery topped up, it won't start. Can you, have you unplugged that? Yeah. Can you see if it'll start, please? This will be the test, and I'll tell you what we've done in a minute. It'll either start or it won't. Right, that's not starting. Now, can you just pass the solar panel out? <laughs> We've got solar panel sits in the windscreen. I don't know if it's putting any charge out. It should still work on daylight. So, so just a ring uh, solar panel. I'll sit that on the bonnet here. So that should be picking up some voltage. What I'll do now. Let's get the trusty multimeter out. Switch it to voltage. Switch it on. You can see that. 20 volts. Twenty point six. Um so really that should have been charging the car. We're not gonna do a TD6 because we still can't get into it. Uh, I've taken the tailgate apart, trying to do the trick where you can get hold of the catch, doesn't work. We've looked at the grill to try and get to the bonnet release. You can't get to it, there's too many plastic covers. So I'm gonna get it jacked up and we're gonna energize the starter. We're back outside, we're on the TD6. I put out the video when I did the fog light bezels and I explained that we can't get into the TD6. Uh, someone in the comments, Robert someone, oh, sorry I can't remember his surname, uh, suggested powering up the trailer socket, um, just enough to energise to get the doors open. So we're going to try that, I've looked at the wiring diagrams, it's a 13 pin socket, I believe it's pin 9 and pin 13, pin 9 is a permanent live to the battery and pin 13 is a earth for using with your fridge if you're towing a caravan that kind of thing so hopefully fingers crossed we can energize up through the socket hopefully it doesn't blow the car all the electrics up and uh, we'll try that if this doesn't work next thing is to jack it up under tray down and try and get um, some kind of power onto the uh, star back of the start motor trouble is the long jump blades are in the back of the TD6 can't get to it. So hopefully this little trick's gonna work and uh, we'll get down on the floor here and try it. Right, so I've got a live one in. Connect that up. Right, so if you can get by the driver's door. Am I pointing it at the actual mirror? No, I'm just at the car. Right, are you ready? Right, I'll tell you when. Okay, try that. Open the door quick. So, <coughs> thank you to Robert. I forget your surname, I'll put it across the thing. <laughs> We've powered up through pin number nine, which is permanent live, pin 13, which is uh, permanent earth 
if you've got because it's the 13 pin socket and we use the adapter to change it to a 7 pin for the trailer um, <laughs> oh, shit. well I should have tried that in the first place I'd, I'd, I'd read somewhere that you could power up through the trailer socket but then other people say no it doesn't work um, we've just done it and we're now into the car the car is open the bonnet is up oh what a bloody relief so yeah we're into the car bloody marvelous um, not going to do anything with it today uh, the battery is dead dead flat so we're going to leave that <laughs> Tina's getting everything out of the back of this car now <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a relief. Robert Colliver or something like that. Oh, he's a saint. Tina says you're a saint. Thank you very much. Um, as I say, I did read somewhere that you could power it up through the socket, but on the same forum, people were saying, nah, that don't bloody work. Um, and you'll blow this up, you'll blow that up. It might have done some damage, who knows, but we're into the car, we haven't got to smash a window. The next step was gonna to be to jack it up, high as we can get it, axle stands, drop the under tray and try and get something onto the uh, um, back of the starter motor. The trouble with that was, the extra long heavy duty jump leads were in the back of this car, not in the other car. Um, luckily. <laughs> We're in. So what the plan is now, I'm going to disconnect the battery. Uh, not today, I'll do it another day because we want to get out on the digger. Um, disconnect the battery, get the battery charger out here, charge it fully up. Um, do what we've got to do with the car, because we, we've not got a tow bar on the other one, but uh, do what we've got to do with it. We've got a tip run to do, and when mum and dad get back, we've got to run to their house with all their stuff. Um, we've got some other bits to do with the trailer in the garden and then when we're not using it I'm going to park it up and just disconnect the battery and have done with it because there is obviously something draining it I say obviously but uh, so yeah I'll get back in the wheelchair and uh, I'll finish off out here so if you can see that the bonnet's open the door's open <coughs> we're in Oh, what a relief. I didn't fancy crawling around on the floor underneath trying to take all that off. Obviously we would have had to have done it, but um, yeah, so if you ever want to... <laughs> no, I won't say that. If you ever get locked out of your Range Rover, this is a 2002 TD6. If you've got the towing socket on it, uh, you can energise power to pin 9. I'll put a diagram on the screen, which is a permanent live... Uh, and pin number 13, I'll put a diagram where that one is, that is a permanent earth, which they're permanent earth and permanent life, so if you're towing a caravan, that can still power your fridge. I think that's the idea, because I actually got the uh, um, diagram off a caravan website. <laughs> uh, we're in. So, thanks to Robert and his suggestion. It has saved us a whole headache of trouble. Um, if you get in touch with me, Robert, via the email in the about section um, I'll send something to you don't get excited, <laughs> yeah, don't get excited. it'll be a sticker and a fridge magnet <laughs> but uh, yes drop us an email and uh, I'll get something sent to you uh, as a way of a thank you because that has really saved us a lot of uh, head scratching and well not because we knew we was going to have to get under the car but oh, and the Hobbit is happy there might be plans for this car. Shall I say anything yet? Well, you might as well. We're in the researching stages at the moment whether to replace this car. Um, not because we don't like it. We've got an L322, the TDV8. That is perfect puckerding. This one is 2002, so it's, well, 18 years old next year. In, well, tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not, can't remember what month this one was, but uh, yeah, so 18 years old. Certain things are just starting to not go wrong, but just starting to play up. Um, and we might want to go back to old school basics, but stick with the Land Rover mark. So we're looking out for a Range Rover Classic automatic. Uh, 
and possibly a petrol V8. Watch this space. I'll keep you posted. Um, we're going to sell, the, maybe sell this one and sell the Audi. Uh, it's a good car if you're using it every day or every other day. It starts, it runs, it's perfect. There is a gearbox issue, but the price will reflect that. Um, but yeah, it's done us proud, really. Oh, it moved to see her. Yeah. Yeah, so we know how to get in the car now. <laughs> so thanks again, Robert. You're a star. <laughs> and I uh, hope you like this video. Please click the thumbs up if you did. From me and The Hobbit, who's extremely happy now we're in the car. <laughs> it's bye for now.